Now, overall, was it easier for us to buy this manufactured or more simple? Hmm, maybe that's not the word. 20% is a good chunk of change. You do what's best for you. Am I happy with our decision to buy a mobile home? Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. My name is Tiffany and this is our small town life. Let me give you just a little bit of backstory in case you are new to our channel. I am a stay at home, homeschooling, homemaking, homesteading mama to four kids. My husband Justin and I recently purchased this double wide mobile home, put it out here on a little bit of land that we're going to be turning into our own one acre homestead. We're sharing all of that here on this channel. We upload five days a week, showing you what it looks like to live in a small town in the southern United States. If any of that interests you, hit that red subscribe button down below and join our family. We sure would love to have you. Today I wanted to talk to you for just a minute about something that I have consistently been asked since we started sharing this process. Now there is going to be a playlist down in the description box. It's usually always there. It's titled Moving Vlogs. And that shares everything from when we started moving out of our rental home to moving in with my mother-in-law, to looking at manufactured homes, deciding which one we wanted to purchase, getting it out here on our land, and getting utilities hooked up, getting it cleaned, and hopefully within the next week or two, moving in. All of that's gonna be in that playlist, so if you need to go get caught up. And there's a lot of good, helpful information there as well, since, you know, because we have been sharing what, what this process has looked like for us, the ups, the downs, the hiccups, the things that have gone easy. We've shared all that, and you'll find it in those videos. Today though, I wanted to talk to you about something that I have been asked, something that I've been asked fairly consistently throughout this process as we've been sharing. And that is, is it easier? Are y'all straight? Hang on, maybe that's better. But something I wanna to talk to you about today is something that I've been asked consistently while we've been sharing this process. And that is, is it easier to buy a manufactured home or a mobile home versus buying a site built home or building a site built home. Now I can only share our personal experience and I'm not gonna claim that my experience is the same as yours and yours is the same as mine. Depending on where you live and what the requirements are and what manufacturer, what dealership you purchase from, th those things are all gonna play into answering that question. And honestly, what is easy for me may not be easy for you. What I consider easy may not be what you consider easy. Uh, but I'm going to touch on several different areas. Overall experience, money, financial, how that's all played out, and timeline. So we're going to touch on those different things today. Chit chat for just a minute. If you have any other questions for us, even things that aren't mobile home, manufactured home, homesteading related, feel free to ask them down in the comments. And maybe I'll sit down and do a formal Q&A. We've not done one of those in a while. I know we have a lot of new friends around here. So if you've got any questions, feel free to ask them and maybe we'll do that. But I want to touch on this a little bit today because like I said, it has been asked several times since we started sharing this process. Now, overall, was it easier for us to buy this manufactured home, comparing it with our experience buying a site-built home? And I point this way when I say <laughs> site-built because our first home that we purchased is actually right next door. That was 13 years ago and it was a different time in life and so I know that plays into it as well but overall both experiences were fairly simple and straightforward for simple. Maybe that's not the word. I don't know, maybe. But I do feel like there was a little bit more red tape that we had to go through and a little more, a little more criteria that we had to meet in order to buy that site built home and maybe it was just where we were in life then, uh, the, the type of loan that we wanted to get. But as a matter of fact, we started the whole process of trying to buy a home and we had found a home and put in an offer. We had actually gotten pre-qualified, but then when it came time to actually get down to it, I, even, I remember where I was standing at when they called and said, I'm so sorry, but if you want to get that type of loan, you're gonna have to be at your job longer. and. At the time, we had just kind of moved back from college and started at new jobs. And 
I remember feeling pretty discouraged <laughs> when I heard that. So we actually had to wait an extra like three or four months and then go back and do the process again. But I feel like overall both experiences were pretty straightforward, but there may be, there was maybe a little bit, a little bit more red tape that we had to go through and, and a little bit higher criteria and qualifications that we had to meet when we were trying to get into that site built home. Overall though, I feel like, it's a little more echoey in here. Overall though, I feel like both experiences went really well for us. Both experiences worked out pretty well. And I would do either of them again. Hopefully this is home for a very, very long time though. And I don't have to do that. Now let's talk dollars, shall we? And if you, if you watched my cleaning video, I mentioned that this tape that you see on here, it was just me marking some things that I needed them to come back in and look at and fix. But anyway, let's talk dollars for just a second. Is it cheaper to buy a mobile home or a manufactured home versus a site built home? Again, just sharing my own experiences. When we first started looking at our options, this go around, with the housing market the way it is right now, looking at a four bedroom home in our area versus buying this mobile home in our area, we were gonna spend about $80,000 more for a site built home. And it was gonna be about 20, 25 years old probably and need some work. So there's that. Also, loans for a mortgage on a site built home, traditional home, whatever you wanna call it, most of the lenders that we had talked to and looked into and what I'm hearing kind of across the board right now, again, not the same for everyone, but they're asking for about 20% down and with the housing market and the prices the way they are right now, 20% is a good chunk of change. And if that was the route we wanted to go, we were going to have to put it off for a little while and save up a little more in order to do that. Buying a manufactured home, we were looking at about six to nine percent down. And so that was more attainable, more doable for us right now. Let me say this though. Don't ever think that you have to go one direction or the other. Don't ever think I'm not gonna qualify for a traditional site built home. I need to buy a manufactured home or a mobile home. That's my only option. And don't ever think that you have to buy a site built home because that's what people expect of you. And that people are gonna think that you're less than because you live in a mobile home. Because that's not the case either. You do what's best for you. I did a lot of praying, a lot of seeking God's will for our life and determining that this was the best option for us. There were a lot of things that went into that and the cards did end up playing in our favor to buy a manufactured home. It just, it fell right, it felt right, and everything worked out. And I think a lot of that was because this is where we're supposed to be and what we're supposed to be doing. But don't ever feel like you have to do one or the other. Talk to a dealership, a mobile home dealership. Talk to a mortgage group about what the qualifications would be for each whatever it is you're wanting to do. And even if you don't meet those qualifications, look at that as an opportunity to say, I'm one step closer because I know what is required of me now. I know what I have to do in order to be able to go that route if that's what I want to do. Even if that is buying a manufactured home. If you go and you talk to them and they say, this is what it's going to take from you. And you're like, I can't do that right now. I don't meet those qualifications right now. Well, that's okay. Now you're at least one step closer because you know what's going to be required of you and you can start working toward that. It's easy to get discouraged when things don't go our way, but don't ever feel like you have to do one or the other for any reason. You can do what's best for you. I will say though that I think overall the requirements to buy a mobile home are going to be a little more lenient than what you would find buying a site built home or building a site built home, just from my own experience. And last but not least, 
Let's talk timeline because that was a big factor for us. We knew that we wanted to be on this land. We briefly looked at buying some homes that were already built, but we knew we wanted to be here on this land. And so then our two options was manufactured home or building a home here. And we kind of thought about building a barn dominium because that may be a little bit more affordable and something that we would love uh, to live in. But the timeline, y'all, the timeline, it would have been late spring to early summer before most contractors could even get started. And then it was going to be, you know, we can't really tell you an exact timeline of when it will be finished because of the way things are right now. There are so many things that are on back order and take longer than what they used to to get. And so depending on what you put in your home and and what you know you wanted in your home, there there was no guarantee of how long that might take to get it done. Again, though, if that's what we had wanted, and if that's where we had felt led, then we would have made it work. We would have said, well, now we know. Let's figure out what we've got to do in the meantime. But it just didn't feel right. It just didn't feel right. And this did. When we bought our... <laughs> I'm continually pointing at that house over there <laughs> that we used to live in. But when we bought that home, it took, and this is if you don't count those six months that we had to wait to be able, was it six? We may have had to wait about three months and then start the process again. I think that's how it was. But even if you don't count that timeline where we were waiting to meet the requirements of being at our, at our jobs, even if you don't count that, it still took about three months from the time that we got pre-approved again, started looking at homes again, found a home, put in an offer, got offers accepted because we actually looked at the, you know a few different ones that things didn't work out on. Then we put in the offer on the home that got accepted and then we had to go through inspections and appraisals and waiting on closing and getting all of that stuff done. And it took about, that whole process took about three months for us. This process from the time that we first started looking at homes to picking out the home, ordering the home, waiting on closing, getting it out here, getting everything hooked up, and very, very soon moving our things in. It's taken about four months. So in the grand scheme of things, not really that much longer. And so that's just kind of how that has worked out for us. And I know that that can work out differently for so many people. My father bought a double wide about, was it two or three years ago? And it took about six months for him. And I've heard some people say that they were in much sooner. I've heard people say it took much longer. It's just gonna depend on your individual circumstance and your individual experience. But for us, it's been about four months. I could have probably turned on some lights, but I've just been standing by when Are y'all playing hide and seek? Yep. I found her. I could have probably turned on some lights, but I've just been standing by windows. Let's find us another window to stand by. Am I happy with our decision to buy a mobile home? Yes. Yes, I am. It's definitely been a learning experience. Things have, de you know, I've never done this before. We've had to figure it out as we go. But overall, I'm so very happy and I feel so very content with where we are and what our plans are and our dreams are for this land that I'm sitting here looking at out this window. I would do it again in a heartbeat. I wouldn't change it even if I could. I wouldn't. Uh, I'm happy with it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do anything different y'all. I kind of briefly touched on that stigma of trailer trash and people thinking that you might be less than because you live in a mobile home or manufactured home y'all we need to get rid of that we know we need to shoo that on away because that's not the case you know thinking that somebody is more than or less than based on where they live what they wear what they drive it's just it's not a reliable measuring stick y'all don't measure someone's worth based on those things. I am much happier, no matter the amount of money I have in the bank, I am much happier 
right here with the possibility of growing our own food with God's help living a self-sustaining, self-sufficient lifestyle, raising my children in a way that they have skills that they can carry with them for the rest of their life. I am much happier doing that than I would be living in a mansion in the middle of Hollywood. <laughs> you know, I this is what my heart desires. And no matter the amount of money I had, this is this is right where I would want to be. And so don't think we should look at somebody and measure their worth based on where they live, what they drive, what they wear, what kind of job they have. Who knows, with the way our world is going, my worth and my skill set, being able to grow my own food, take care of my own animals, provide for my family without relying on a grocery store or the government or any of those things, that may end up being a much more beneficial way of living you know, you, you never know. You never know. And so I know over the last few years, I have tried to be much more intentional about not measuring people's worth based on material items. And that's where we'll end this one today. Thank you for spending a little time with me today talking about our experience buying this mobile home versus buying a site built home, going over some of the um, pros and cons of each and, and our experiences along the way. If you've got any other questions, ask them down in the comment box. We love you guys. We appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.